What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough right here, and yes, oh my god, so in the last episode, holy crud, I, I was surprised, surprised like no other, uh, uh, how this game has been going so far, and I've noticed that, damn, it's gonna be a tough one right here, and uh, well, off screen I did capture myself, a good old buddy of ours, Yes, we captured Toxic Batman. Now remember guys, a lot of these Pokemon that I capture, they're probably not going to be on our team very, very long. I'm just going to be keeping them just in case if I decide to change up the Pokemon team here and there. Again, uh, not really, yeah, not really sure what kind of team is going to be made out right here. And it's a good thing too because this is a hack game, so I have the liberty to do that, I guess. I don't even know. But if you guys have an opinion on what Pokemon I should build around my Total Dial, comment down below, you know. Be involved in this kind of stuff. Now, let's see. Ghosts are rumored to appear in the Sprout Tower. They said that the normal type Pokemon moves have no effect on ghosts, which is true. And, uh, let's see. I wonder if this guy still trades, uh, still trades a... A, an Onyx for a Bellsprout right here. A Pokemon you get in Uh, yes, don't have the right badge, it will dissipate you. Okay, so let's see. Talk to this person. Looking for a Bellsprout. Yes, it's still... Yeah, this person still still trades uh, an, a Bellsprout or an Onyx for a Bellsprout. Now, let's see. We need to cut for that right there. And this is the Trainer School uh, Pokemon Academy. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm pretty sure somebody here will give us an item. Uh, notes. Yep, and uh, Pokemon holding Oran Berry can heal itself. Yeah, that is true. It is. Okay, so there's nothing right there for us. Now, one thing that I found interesting is this. The hell? This guy right here. Who are you? Get out of my way. Now that's scary right there. Yeah, I, I, I don't know who that is either. So this is the reason why I decided to play this game, because it's just, you know, it's a... Uh, it's all new to me. It's whatever, guys, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually very excited. Very, very excited about it. Now, let's see. I don't think there was a house here before. Let's see. Let's see if we talk to these people. Uh, she uses names, the favorite things to eat. Well, I just picked names just out of nowhere. Calls us Pidgey a strawberry. So let's go ahead and take a look at that Pokemon that they've been talking about right here. Uh, let's see. Round 36, as we already know, is being blocked right now by an odd Pokemon, and, uh, you talk to this guy, well hey, going to snap that tree with my straight arm punch, but I couldn't, I'm a failure. Yes you are, so as you can see, can't do much, the wiggly tree is right there, and I wonder what kind of Pokemon you can catch right here. Let's see, I I'm just, you know, being curious right now, and uh, well there's a spinner rack right there, nothing uh, too interesting for my, for my taste right now, so yeah, that one of the Pokemon that you can actually find anywhere and uh, let's see I wonder if you can find a Mareep here if it's if it goes off the same engine like if it does then uh, well, then we found a place to capture a Mareep maybe I don't know that's that's the Pokemon that I want to capture so uh, okay enough of that let's go straight into the uh, into the Sprout Tower and uh, see what that's all about right there let's see Sprout Tower experience wrong along the way okay didn't even read that correctly. So here we are, Sprout Tower, and uh, 100 feet tall. People say that it become a pillar. Okay, so I guess they're going to be saying the same thing right here. We're going to be battling the same old people now. I did capture Toxic Batman for this particular reason because it does have a bug type move. So let's see what this guy says. However, however hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Okay, so we're going to be taking on, I guess, a Sage Bob. And he does have three Pokemon right there, all Bell Sprouts. Okay, uh, let's go with the Leech Life. Does it do me any good? Will it do me any good? Mm, not kind. Of, well, kinda. Ah, oh, jeez. So yeah, we're. It's gonna be a long ways away, guys. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I've noticed about this game right here. That it's gonna be a tough one to actually master. And uh, Bellsprout, of course, is trying to increase its special attack right here, so shouldn't be worried. It flinched, so there we go again with another Astonish attack. And there you go, Bellsprout has been defeated. Alrighty. And uh, he's going to come in with another Bellsprout, so let's go right ahead and use Erwin this time. And, yep, I did teach this Pokemon, or it didn't teach him, but he actually learned Water Gun Attack. It's not going to do much, but it's still going to be something right here. So let's go again with the Scratch Attack. And, uh, crud. 
Okay, so again, we gotta we gotta realize this that yeah, these Pokemon are a little tougher when it comes to their tight advantage and all that stuff. So we go again, and uh, one more scratch attack will do it. Look at that, Bellsprout defeated. Alrighty, and then he's coming around with the Bellsprout again. So let's go ahead and go back to Toxic Batman. Don't want to mess with this guy anymore. It's a buttload of a uh, it's a buttload of Bellsprouts right here. Okay, so let's go with Astonish. You can always confuse this guy too, and uh, you flinched. Okay, so let's go with the Supersonic. Confuse this guy. Let's be a strategic, strategic magic. And there you go. You are confused, you a-hole bell sprout. And uh, well, look at that. It's increasing its power. But here we go with the Leech Life. Alrighty. There we go. And okay, so that's not much. God dang it. Yeah, so much for the confusion attack and all that stuff. Oh, God. Again, guys, this game is, like, completely new to me. Uh, yeah, it, it's really new to me, so it's like, uh, again, if I'm out of words or anything like that, it's because, yeah, I don't don't necessarily know what's going to happen right here. So here we go again. Let's go with the uh, Astonish attack right here. And there we go, critical hit. So it looks like Toxic Batman will be our main guy for this whole thing. I could have used the Hoot Hoot, but uh, yeah, Hoot Hoot's not really that strong for me. So that is that right there. And I believe you can actually capture some Pokemon right here too. So here we found ourselves an escape rope, like always. And uh, and there's, an, there's a Pokemon attacking. And there we go with the Rattata. So yeah, don't want to capture you, Rattata. Do not. Alrighty, so let's move on right here. And this guy's gonna look for us. He's like, we stand guard in this tower. Here, we express our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. This is true. Very, very true. Okay, so here we go. A Jujit Jujutsu? Say Jujutsu wants a battle. That's a new name right there. Alright, Toxic Batman, you've been brought into this uh, weird world to help us win this. And look at that. Critical hit. And, uh, okay. Man, this game it looks like it's going to be challenging me from all aspects of, the, of my knowledge of Pokemon right here. And uh, this guy is still growing its, uh, its strength somehow. So let's go again. Another Astonish nearly beats this guy. And yeah, okay. So that's the best defense right there for us is, you know, keep the flying type out there. And there we go. Now, if you did show Cyndaquil, then good for you. And he's going to be coming out with another... Another, uh, whatchamacallit, Bellsprout. So I'm gonna just keep, uh, tight right here. And, uh, there's that Bellsprout. Let's go ahead and use a Leech Life. You know, regain some of our strength right here. And, uh, well, it's not a pure grass type. This guy's just gonna keep on increasing its, its ability, its special attack right there. So let's go ahead and confuse this guy. Alrighty. You are confused, my friend. And, uh, are you... Oh, wow. It hurt itself, finally. Okay, so... That's... that's what, what was it like? That's, uh, one victory for us right there. You flinched. There we go again. And you flinched again. <laughs> Holy crud. And there you go. We defeated this Bellsprout. Now, these guys have, like, an interesting pair of Pokemon. And he's coming out with another Bellsprout. So let's go ahead and use Erwin this time. Hopefully we can just beat him like with with a few scratch attacks and never get hit by a vine whip or something. Alrighty, so here we go, scratch attack, and there's that vine whip. Nearly beats us. Holy shoot! Okay, so that was the bad. That was the worst idea that I, I could ever drawn. All right. So let's go back to this guy, and we're gonna get wrapped. Yeah, that was gonna that was gonna farewell with all of our Pokemon right there. Okay, so let's go with Leech Life. Regain some of that strength back. Oh, uh, yes. And, <laughs> oh man. These Pokemon trainers and their Bell Sprouts and stuff. And of course, it's a level 12, so that, that that's probably another reason why I got my ass kicked. And there we go again with another Astonish. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay, there's no more PP for this one. No more pepper for that one, and uh, here we go with the leech life. Ah, jeez. God dang it with these bell sprouts. God dang it. Okay, here we go. Leech life for the win. 
Nearly for the win. God dang it, Toxic Batman. You had to learn that kind of move. Alright, so let's see. Increasing its power, and it's free from its wrap. So here we go again with another Leech Life. Hopefully for the win. And there we go. Bellsprout has been defeated. Oh yes. Look at that. And uh, level 13, it doesn't learn anything new, right? No. Okay. So he's, he's thanking us for kicking his butt right there. Okay, so we are... Yeah, we, we kind of have a little bit of a dilemma now. Alright. Yeah, we, we, need a, we need to heal our Pokemon, especially Toxic Batman, because that Astonish attack is actually working for us. Or we could get ourselves a true Flying-type Pokemon. I don't know. I haven't really thought about that right now. And uh, Okay, so what is this right here? An X Accuracy. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have to go back to the Pokemon Center because uh, this is not going to work at all. We're going to have to get as many Pokemon as possible. God dang. God dang. Okay, so luckily I did capture some Pokemon off screen that will actually help us out right here. So let's go back to the Pokemon Center and just grab some of these Pokemon right here that we actually captured. Let's see. I think one good Pokemon that I just realized that we had. Let's see. Withdraw. We actually do have a Lord Pie right here. And uh, let's go with uh, Al Growl right here. So that's two Pokemon right there. And uh, let's go back over here. Now remember this is a hack game. Don't care how I play this game. Really, really don't care. I just want to get through this just to show you guys what this game is all about right here. So back into the Sprout Tower. Let's go straight back up and battle everybody with these new Pokemon that I actually have on my team. And what am I doing right here? Alright. Damn it! Yeah, I'm going back and forth right here. And here we are getting attacked by another Pokemon. And uh, would you look at that? A level 5 Ghastly. Hmm. I kind of want to. I kind of want to. So let's go back to Irwin right here. I kind of have use for you right here, Mr. Ghastly. Of course, he's, he's just going to make us, uh... He's going to make us, uh, sleep for a while. And let's see. Oh, damn. Yeah, that, that's not the best case scenario right there. Okay. Water gun, come on. Wake up, Irwin. Wakey, wakey. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Fast asleep again. Okay. Just one hit. Come on, wake up, buddy. You know, I'm almost tempted to use the speed button as well. Should probably use it. Here we go. We're woke. Here we go. Damn it. Okay, so that... That experiment failed. It failed miserably, so... Let's just continue going on right here. And crud, we're getting attacked again. Okay, here we go again with another Ghastly. And... Uh, yeah, completely forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, completely forgot to, to, to heal my Pokemon. Hold on, hold on. Again, guys... This is all new to me. I'm just like, oh my god. This is ridiculous. And, uh, okay. Well, let's save it. Let's see what the water gun can say to us. And... Damn it. Okay. Fuck it. Don't care. I really don't care right now. Let's just, let's just continue on with our adventure right here. Okay, so... What we do know is that these uh, bell sprouts right here are are weak against Psychic-type Pokémon, too. And luckily, I do have the Pokémon for this one. Swayed like the leaves in the wind. Okay. Let's see what you got, old man. Sage come in. It came in. Coming with his, uh... With his Bellsprout. And here's a Lord Pie. So let's go with that confusion. Alrighty. Nearly beats him. And, uh, here comes a growth attack. Okay. Just trying to get the hell out of here, just so I can continue on with my adventure right here. That's all I asked for. And there we go. Bellsprout has been defeated. Hell yeah! Alrighty. And, uh, well, you're going to be coming out with another Bellsprout, so let's just continue on right here with Lord of Pie. Lord of the Pies right here, and let's go with Confusions. Never thought I would be using Caterpie or Caterpie for freaking, uh... 
or a Butterfree at this point. Shoot. So here we go. Confusion for the win. There we go. Lord Pie. Taking everybody. That's right. And uh, coming out with another Bell Sprout. So might as well use that uh, Al Growl right here. See, I gave, I gave him cool nicknames and all that stuff. Don't know what I'm going to do with them right now. And uh, Al Growl looks like a shiny. And uh, crud! He doesn't have a flying type attack. So I don't know why I brought that Pokemon. God dang it. So as you can see, going back to Lord of the Pies. And uh, oh god. Okay. That's all the that's all the moves they like to, to use. And here we go. Confusion attack. Nearly takes out the, this Bell Sprout, and it confuses them. Pretty good, very, very good. And uh, what? Let's see. It hurt itself finally after how many times? Let's go again. One more confusion for the win. And there you go, Lord Pie. That's right. Well, there's a good reason why I got you. Very good reason. And El Grau, of course, gaining experience points just because it likes the mooch and all that crud. Okay, so that is that, and uh, we got this floor to go. And, uh, well, lots of potions. And you know what? Let's go in full strength. Yeah, we got we got to go back to the Pokemon Center. Oh my God, this game right here just takes me out of my comfort zone. It really does. I. I I don't know what else to say, guys. It's, uh, again, this is the first time I've ever played a hat game, so it, it's just, you know, it's whatever. Let's see. Um, let's go back to the Pokemon Center, and uh, let's go ahead and just heal up our Pokemon right here. So, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Heal my Pokemon, please. Yes, sir. And there we go. We got five Pokemon and all. Don't think that, you know, Stampy's the right fit for my Pokemon right now, especially at this point, but it is what it is. It is what it is, guys. So let's go right back and uh, continue our little quest right here. And uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're back up to the Sprout Tower. And uh, you know what? If we get attacked by another uh, Ghastly right here, I kind of want to bring out Toxic Batman. Because I might be able to use Ghastly. Might be. I don't know. And there you go, another Ghastly, level 4, so it's a lot weaker. And if I use Astonish... Yep, super effective, never mind. Yeah, okay, so I kind of screwed the pooch on that one. I don't know, really, really don't know. Okay, so let's see, we already battled these guys, battled that guy, and now it is time to battle all these guys right here, and I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. Okay, let's see what your enlightenment says. So here we go, Sage Fang wants to battle, and he will be coming out with a Bellsprout right here. And, uh, well, Toxic Batman for the win with a lot of ghost type attacks right here. Here we go with an Astonish, critical hit, Krital, and, uh, and here we go again, another Astonish. Ah, uh, damn, you keep on flinching. That's like two for flinching right there. Look at that, two for flinching. Oh yes, here we go again, another Astonish, two for flinching. This time he faint. Eat that. Alrighty. And Sage Fang has been defeated, and yes, is incomplete. So incomplete, buddy. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and uh, switch out our Pokemon. Not use Erwin or Stampy. Let's go ahead and use Lord of the Pies. Or you know what, Algrow? What happens if it grows one more level? Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, the Elder's HM lights even the pitch of darkness. Okay. Of course, he's probably talking about Flash right here. So Hashuko, Hashiko, coming out with a level 12 Bell Sprout, and Al Growl is right here. Not gonna do anything because, yeah, doesn't know any other attacks. What is a tackle attack going to do for him? Nothing. And here's that Vine Whip. Doesn't affect him. Mm -mm. He's invincible. There we go, and, uh, okay. Yeah, we are wrapped with a capital W. Oh, damn. All right, so let's continue this Astonish. And, uh, well, just like always, they're going to be just using their, their their special attacker and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and use another Astonish right here for the win. Nope. God damn, Bellsprout. Always wrapping me in their crowd go and oh damn 
Ah, oh, damn. Okay, so here we go again with another Astonish. And there you go. Bellsprout has been defeated. Algrow grows to level 8. And it doesn't learn anything. Holy crud. Do these Pokemon follow the same kind of, a uh, move pools or something like that? I don't even know. I don't even know why I'm using Algrow. So, uh, let's see. Lord of the Pies going back. And, uh, let's battle this guy right here. And he's like, let's see how much you trust your Pokemon. I trust him a lot, I just don't trust this game. So here we go, another Pokemon trainer, Sage Kashisha Kashijano. God dang, I'm butchering everything, and god dang it. He's the one that comes out with the Hoot Hoot. So, let's go straight to Irwin right here. I missed you, buddy. You do have Water Gun Attack now. And uh, there's that Peg Attack that we wanted to use. So here we go, Water Gun. There we go, and... Uh, Wow, these, these, this is a very, very challenging hoot hoot to defeat, and uh, of course, it's gonna try and lower my attack right here, so that's not gonna happen. So, here we go water gun attack. Come on! Oh, shoot. Another attack balloon right there. So, here we go water gun attack. And there you go. Suck it. Lord of the Pies, and everybody gets experience points, and look at that. Kushi Hano. I don't know how to pronounce his, his name, so I'm just gonna walk away. And, uh, oh damn. You are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here is your HM. But, let me say this. You should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. <laughs> he claims to be the elder, but he's weak. It stands no reason. I'd never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. So do I. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. And uh, Michel has used his uh, escape rope, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this too right here. Okay, so that is that, and uh, I probably should be healing my Pokemon right here. Let's see, Erwin, get some get some of that, and uh, let's go with Toxic Batman. And let's just take care of this whole thing with Lord of the Pies right here. Let's see. So good of you to uh, for for you to come. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. Trust me. They're not that tight, especially in this version right here. I'm talking negatively right now. And now here we go, going up against a guy named Christo. Okay. Finally, a guy's name that I will not butcher. So let's go, Lord of the Pies, Confusion. Okay, Lord Pie. This must be an alternate version, and uh, wow, it's a critical hit. You gotta love critical hits right there. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use another Confusion for the win. Oh my god, nearly beats this guy. And uh, again, you gotta love raps. Potato wraps, laps, wraps, and all that stuff. And oh god, he uses a super potion. Didn't know you could do that. Okay, here we go. Confusion for the win. Ah, damn it. Okay, Lord of the R Lord of the Buys. Confused no more. Or Fear of the Wrap, and uh, that's another super effective move. Okay. I wonder if you can actually capture a Bell Sprout around here too. Can you? I don't know. Because if you can, then I might be able to have some use for that Pokemon. But, again, triple weakness and all that crud. And look at that. Lord Pai grabbing uh, some experience points. So let's go straight to Irwin. I know I could use Stampy right here, but Irwin looks like the type of uh, type of Pokemon to, to, to go up against this guy. Especially since it's about to hit level 15. So here we go, Water Gun. Don't know what this whole uh, Foresight will do. Good God. Here we go. Water Gun. Oh, he withdrew his Pokemon. So these... Wow, the AI here is insane. Oh, my God. Okay, so that's not super effective. He wants to play that game. Let's play that game. Let's go talk to Batman. He will not switch against that Pokemon right there. Oh, my God. This thing is, like, challenging. Okay, so that right there is good. And uh, let's go with the Astonish. Oh, damn. You flinched. Two for flinching. There we go. Another two for flinching. Nope, you used your growth. Ah, oh, damn. I'm actually getting a good taste of this whole Pokemon uh, 
this whole Pokemon game right here. And uh, trust me, guys, it's a uh, yeah. I'm 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 like wow. I'm a, I'm astounded right now because it's actually like it's actually challenging me in in such in such a way right now. And uh, here we go with another growth attack. Okay, alrighty. So let's go with Leech Life. Take that life away. Buzzsprout has been defeated. Alrighty. All right, Toxic Batman, you've done your chores, and everybody's getting experience points. Here he's coming. He's coming out with a hoo hoo. So let's go back to Irwin. Oh my God. Okay, so let's see what this guy has. All right, you know what? Let's go with Leer. We might get hit a few times, but we're gonna be using Leer just to lower this guy's defense. And of course, he's gonna be using Growl like a dick. But luckily for me, the water gun is just a special attack, so it's all good. It's all good. So we're going to do another Leer attack. Three Leers for the win. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. Water gun and uh, there's that peck attack. That pesky peck attack. Yeah, buddy. Critical hit. Gives it a little extra oomph onto the little oomph. There we go. And uh, here we go again with another water gun. Ah, Jesus. Pokemon will not go down! Okay, here we go. And there you go. Hoop Hoop has been defeated. He made me work for this one right here. And look at that, level 15. You gotta love it. Christo has been defeated. Ah, excellent. Alrighty, okay. So, uh, give me my, my, my thing. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash. Alrighty, we got the flash technique. That's always good. That's great. Okay, and uh, okay, so we won't be able to use that technique until after defeating the Violet City Gym Leader, which will be in the next episode. So let's go ahead and use that escape rope right here. And uh, well, we're finally out. And uh, well, that's pretty much it for that episode. Holy crud. This? Yeah, they, they're making me work for this. They really are, guys. So. In the next episode, we will be going in our first gym battle. So hopefully it goes well for us and all that crud. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.